one of the most difficult decisions I've had to make in my ministry to actually be able to to close the doors of the house of God and say we can't come and you know that, that was one of the hard decisions that we had to make especially as pastor and leader to be able to say that the people of God cannot meet at the church as, as they normally do so that was very difficult that was very difficult And the initial start of COVID-19 in March, we, uh, we closed the church down for a brief while, uh, unable to, to meet on a regular basis as we used to. So basically we turned to uh, our Facebook live services uh, and going uh, virtual. People are looking for answers to try to bring resolution to whatever is happening in their lives. But I thought this morning that I would just remind us as a body of Christ, we ought to know where the answer is. Yeah. If anybody ought to be able to speak to these troubles of the world, these troublesome times, these difficult situations we're going through, it ought to be the church. We ought to be able to let the people of the world know that the word still works. Yeah. And the word we really stress to, to them, you know, even though uh, we aren't able to enter into the actual building, uh, remember that the church is in the heart of man. And, and we try to uh, let them know that when we came together that this is something we're going to have to do, uh, you know, because of what's happening, we had to change with the time. But in changing, we still want to be able to get the message out. So therefore, we put together a phase of how we will close and how we will gradually come back in. So. Basically for a while there, I just basically came to the church myself and, and did the services uh, virtual. So I tried to make sure that I was faithful to my call and to be faithful to make sure that I showed up every Sunday, uh, that they, could, they, they still could receive the word and they still could rejoice in the word in spite of not being able to be inside of the church house. Uh, we could minister them just through the word. In the black church, music is one of the most important things. People relish to have that, that vibra, that excitement that the music brings. That's why it is important that we have people in our music department understand you're not just here playing to get paid. You're not, you're not just here playing because you're gifted, but this is the ministry. And when, when I try to instill in our musicians, when you play, play understanding that the music you play is touching the heart of somebody. So music has always been important in the black church. I think it always will be important in the black church. It plays an important role in the black church. So many of the black Negro hymnals came from when they was in the field. Things of like, I'm so glad trouble don't last always. And uh, there is a brown day ahead. And they sung those songs because they believed that. You can take those same songs that they sung in the fields, sing them today for what's happening in our world right now. You still can relate to, I'm so glad trouble don't last always. You can still relate to, there is a brown day ahead. The songs that meant so much to them in the, in the fields, can mean so much to us in the world we live in now. So I'm sure with, the, with the, what's going on now, there are those who normally would sing the choir, miss it. And I think that when we, if we ever get back to the point where we can have our uh, mass choirs again, uh, people are gonna sing with a different uh, uh, motivation, with a different insight. Uh, it's, it's gonna mean more because you missed that. Just to be able to get back in that choir stand and, and stand beside your fellow alto singer, stand beside your fellow soprano singer, and combine your voices together and sing. It, it brings you comfort to hear those voices coming together. Music connects the soul uh, and the mind and body together. Uh, it, gi it gives us a, a closer sense of being in relation with God through the music. Uh, it draws people. It motivates people. So as music played a great role to our uh, four parents in the field, it's still playing a great role to us in this present age.